G'day everyone, Pete Techman Coleman here at my favorite technology show in the world, CES 2020 in Las Vegas. And today is Media Day, where we get to check out all the latest exciting technology that's gonna be on display before the doors officially open on Tuesday morning. So let's get inside and see what we can find. Holland Robotics robot, the tic-tac-toe playing robot called Ricci. These are rollerblade brakes. Uh, they're just a little braking system that attaches to standard rollerblades. And then you have a remote control in your hand. This exciting innovation, which is called uh, Living Packets. And what it is, it's a reusable polystyrene foam shipping box now you can imagine i've actually ordered one of these i'm just waiting for it to for it to turn up but, uh, i bought it on indiegogo i think it was about 80 dollars uh, it looks like a great little little toy it's very cool it's a knee effect uh, smart balance it's actually for um, stroke victims and it's uh, gamification it allows them to try and sort of regain, it's a rehabilitation device, essentially. Okay, and then what it does is it actually records the child's height, does a date and time stamp as well. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The final production call for Biden and Biden. Well, let's start with the question because uh, when, when you come to CES, where a lot of people are looking for perspective, so so here's some here's some good stuff. So when we look across the consumer technology industry and the overall ecosystem today, how can we describe that dynamic? So I want you to think about hardware and other devices, software, apps, even content, media, entertainment, these things, social media. How can we describe the dynamic? Well, in the previous decade. I think the answer would be probably IoT, the Internet of Things. And of course, this is a term that we're all intimately familiar with, for better or worse, uh, that we, we invoke routinely in business conversations and technology descriptions. But folks, what's happening now in this new decade, and what can we expect to happen as the next 10 years unfolds? Well, I think the answer is, is that we're increasingly confronted with an entirely new IoT, and that is the intelligence of things. 